How to Care for a Calathea Plant Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about a beautiful and fascinating plant called the Calathea. This plant, with its stunning and colorful leaves, is one of the most popular house plants that brings a unique beauty to our homes. If you're looking for a plant that's easy to care for and also adds a special touch to your interior space, the Calathea is an excellent choice. In this video, we'll share all the essential tips you need to know to care for and maintain this plant. What kind of light does Calathea need? In its natural habitat, Calathea grows under the canopy of trees. It's accustomed to filtered sunlight, so the best light for keeping it indoors is medium. Indirect light. East and north facing windows are ideal for Calathea. Direct sunlight can cause the leaves to burn and the vibrant colors to fade. Another distinctive feature of Calathea is the movement of its leaves throughout the day. The leaves often fold up at night and open in the morning, responding to light and darkness. How should you water a Calathea plant? Calathea requires regular watering, and the soil should never be allowed to dry out completely. One of the signs of underwatering is the edges of the leaves drying out. Calathea is also very sensitive to the minerals found in tap water. It's best to use filtered water or tap water that has been left out overnight to allow the chlorine to evaporate. What are the ideal temperature and humidity for Calathea? To keep your Calathea in the best condition, maintain a temperature between 65 deg to 77 deg 18 deg C to 25 deg G C. Calathea cannot tolerate temperatures below 59 deg 15 deg G C, so keep it away from cold areas. Due to its tropical origins, Calathea loves humidity. Creating a humidity tray or using a cool mist humidifier are great ways to provide the moisture it needs. What is the best soil for a Calathea plant? Moisture is crucial for Calathea, so choose a soil mix that retains water well. A light soil mix made of potting soil, garden soil, peat moss, and perlite works best. Although Calathea likes moist soil, overwatering can lead to root rot. Be sure to plant your Calathea in a pot with proper drainage holes. Additionally, Calathea plants prefer slightly acidic soil and thrive in a pH of around 6.5. Fertilizing. Calathea doesn't require heavy fertilization. During the growing season, from spring to fall, you can feed it once a month with a diluted, balanced houseplant fertilizer. Pruning. To prune your Calathea, remove any dried or dead leaves and rotate the plant periodically to ensure even growth. Dust the leaves regularly to improve photosynthesis. Avoid using chemical cleaners or leaf shine sprays when cleaning the leaves. How often does Calathea need repotting? Calathea typically needs repotting every two years. However, if you notice roots growing out of the drainage holes, it's a sign that the plant has outgrown its pot and needs to be repotted. Use a pot that is one size larger than the current one. Spring or summer is the best time to repot as the plant is at its strongest during these seasons. Propagation methods for Calathea. Stem cuttings, division, and seed sowing are common methods for propagating Calathea. One, using sterilized scissors, cut three to four inch, eight to 10 cm sections of the stem. Each cutting should have four to five leaves. Two, remove the lower leaves from the cutting. Three, plant the cuttings in a suitable growing medium. Four, cover the cuttings with clear plastic and poke a few holes in the plastic for ventilation. Five, place the cuttings in a warm environment away from direct sunlight. Six, keep the growing medium consistently moist until the cuttings have rooted. Seven, it takes about 45 days to two months for the cuttings to root. Once they have rooted, you can remove the plastic cover.
Division When repotting your calathea in the spring, you can divide the plant into several sections. Many calathea plants have very delicate roots, so handle them as gently as possible to avoid damaging them. Each section you separate should have both roots and a few leaves. Plant these sections in new pots with fresh soil. Keep the newly potted plants moist. Care for the newly potted plants as you would with cuttings, following the same maintenance steps. Propagation by seed. To propagate calathea from seeds, plant them in mid-spring. Before planting, soak the seeds in warm water for one day. Then, sow the seeds in a pot with good drainage. The pot containing the calathea seeds should be placed in a shaded area at an approximate temperature of 77 dex 25 dig G. You can cover the pot with plastic to help maintain humidity. Special care tips for calathea. Fertilization. Calathea requires limited fertilization and doesn't need a special fertilizer. You can use regular liquid fertilizers for greenhouse plants in conjunction with watering. However, the best approach is to consult with a specialist for advice on fertilizer. Fertilize calathea during its growing season spring and summer, ideally every two weeks. Common diseases One common issue is bacterial leaf spot, which causes lesions on the leaves and makes them dark and black. To treat this, use bactericidal fungicides containing copper. Pests. Like other houseplants, calathea can be prone to pests such as spider mites and aphids. Carefully inspect the plant before purchase and regularly check for signs of pests to prevent damage. Leaf spots. If you notice colored spots on the leaves, it may indicate underwatering. Occasionally misting the leaves can help. If watering is adequate, the spots might be due to the use of hard water containing lime. Leaf drop and burn if the leaves are dropping, it could be due to a cold environment, low humidity, or pest infestations. If the leaf tips are burning, it might be caused by high temperatures, insufficient humidity, or direct sunlight. Well folks, that's everything you need to know about caring for, fertilizing, and pruning the calathea. I hope this video has been helpful and that you'll be able to take great care of your calathea. If you have any questions or know of any other tips, be sure to share them in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated with our latest content. Until the next video, stay happy and energized.